Hey everybody, welcome back for another market report. I'm Jeremy, this is Courtney, we're the North Sound Realty Group, and today we're talking about April numbers. And April numbers. April numbers, King County, <laughs> 2022, and uh, it has been really, really hot, and Courtney's gonna tell us all about these awesome numbers, and then we're gonna talk a little bit of a reflection on these numbers. Mm -hmm. Take it away. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. So, it's still scorching hot out there, and that's because listings were down by 288 over April of last year. So the average price shot up by 22% over last April, and total homes sold were down by 265 units, while the days on market, unsurprisingly, decreased by four days. So what does this tell us about what's currently happening? Well, you know, when you ever have a, an inventory shrinkage like this, it creates more demand, right? And so April numbers reflect relatively decent rates still, and you had a lot of people out there knowing the rates were gonna go up, and yep. out there competing for less and less inventory, unfortunately. Yeah. And so you ended up with a big increase in the average price. Stuff right? is definitely right. leveling out a little right. bit. The playing field is a little bit more we're, even. We're starting to see that now. Yeah. You know, so we're sitting here in, in May talking about April's numbers that came out, right? Yeah. But we have to keep in mind that now we're seeing these rates uh, going up towards 6%. Yeah. And that I has created a little bit of a U-turn in the market. Also, mm -hmm. at this point, and everybody knows this, we've had inflationary issues. We've got issues with basically, um, you know, cost of living out there. It's gone yeah. up really big time. Um, so, you know, we're seeing uh, the stock market is just garbage right now. <laughs> Crypto's bottoms falling out. You know, yeah. it sounds like doom and gloom, and yet still we have a relatively healthy strong real estate market it's just now it's changing so what do you do when there's like no place to put your money in stocks and bonds uh you know in crypto it's not safe you know where should you put it and why what's the answer i mean you do want to buy low but you, you it is it low. is a good investment right now but we do have an inflation inflation problem sure and real estate is a hard asset that will always exist and you can hold on to that asset and it seems like a safe place well, for your money for that reason and also the stability of the economy that we have here in Washington specifically with all of the, um, the tech opportunity. Mm -hmm. There's so many yeah. so many jobs that you can have here and I don't really well, and think that we're going to see the same. Real estate's uh, not a non-fungible token that you you know have. it. You can do different things with it too, right? Yeah. So with real estate and kind of like crypto, I guess you can you know lend it out. So you can make money off of it by turning it into a money-making proposition as a rental, short-term, mm -hmm. long-term, whatever. You can add a DADU and add value to your property. You can add solar and add 2.4 percent to your property's value according to Zillow. There's mm -hmm. all kinds of things you can do to increase the value of your property over time. Yeah. You know, and that's the great thing about real estate. It's stable. And I guess the end result is, and the most important saying is what I've always heard from the old timers, land, they ain't make it no more. Yeah, that's so, true. Right? Yeah, it's a good place to park your money and just pay the property taxes, yeah. which are usually low if there's not a house on it. But We won't talk about that. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. thanks for joining us for this uh, King County market update. <laughs> um, we really appreciate your audience. And come on back for the next report for next month. We appreciate you tuning yeah. in. Thanks so much. Thanks, Courtney.